Hi guys, uh, look I've had a couple of our YouTube users um, sort of discussing uh, the last footage that I put up um, and they didn't like the Grappa Hero 3 and they thought information was actually lost and the video wasn't very good at all. So what I did was I did this test and what I've done here is actually colour corrected the footage um, and I haven't mentioned which uh, video you're looking at is from which of the two cameras whether it be the GoPro Hero 2 or Hero 3 and as you can see look the video out of both of these are quite acceptable um, there's no real issues level of detail in both of them is pretty good um, they're purposefully not exactly identical because um but I've got it pretty close anyway so you can have a stab and see which one you think is which um, hopefully you get it right um, so yeah so there you go so you can actually bring it back in line to uh, what the GoPro 2 produces Okay guys, you've uh, just finished watching uh, this video here, uh, which is the one I just recorded with uh, the two cameras. What I'm going to do is now quickly show, show you exactly how I went about actually doing the, um, the uh, colour matching. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I didn't do anything too elaborate. So the first thing I'll do is create a new project, call it New Focus Bell. That'll do. Okay, so what I've got here is two different footages. This is a uh, GoPro 3, this one. And this one is a GoPro 3 and a GoPro 2. And I can tell by the numbers. This one's up to video 6, this one's up to video 1600 and something. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll first grab this video and I'll try and do that again. Grab it and drop that down into the timeline. Next thing I'll do is grab this guy here and also drop him into the timeline. And what I'll do is I'll quickly match up these audios. Say so that there's a good good point. Okay, that's pretty much matched up. That's not too bad. I'm not going to go to too any uh, great length here. And I'll try and keep this as quick as possible. So what I'll do is I'll come to about here. Pick my blade tool, I'll just delete these two. And delete those, and I'll come to about here. And about there, I'll just, actually what I can do here. Just reduce those guys, okay. So now I've got my two uh, footages. What I'll do is resize these. Reduce that one also to 50. And what I'll do is move this guy. Uh, okay, that's one. And I'll grab this guy here and bring him down this side. Okay, so I've got my two video footages. Now, the first thing I do when I'm going to color correct, I mean, the, the, the first thing I do is basically try to get the actual brightness level the same. So what I'll do is I will only touch the GoPro Hero 2 footage, which is this one here. So first thing I'm going to do is, looking at the tree, I'll try and get that brightness right. Okay. That's what we want there. So we'll go into colour. Uh, first thing I'll do is bump up the exposure. And what I'm going to just go to the global. And I'm going to bump that up till I get it about right. Okay, that's not too bad. The detail in the tree looks about the same. Um, shadows, I might darken up a little bit. Drop that down. And the mids. I might take those up a bit. And that should be about right. So even though the colours aren't right, Detail in the tree and everything else, shadow areas, looks about the same. Uh, we can confirm this in other areas. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, you can see here, in this building here, the detail is about the same. So that's not too bad. So what, what I do after that is I work on the saturation. So I'll go to the saturation uh, tab. And what I want to do is actually make a global adjustment here. Now, the GoPro Hero 3, which is this footage here, tends to be really, really oversaturated. So what I'll do is reduce the saturation on that 
and I'll just go to the global and I'll bring that down to about that's probably too far that looks about right color wise and then what we'll do now, so the saturation wise that doesn't look too bad even though the colors aren't quite right and then finally what I'll do is move on to color and work on the colors there um, the blue sky is what stands out the most to me so um, and even here a little bit of yellow tinge here it's probably closer to the highlights um, a bit more blue in there okay so with this if I go over here I've got these colors I want to go more towards the blue and that doesn't look too bad to me so just play that there we go simple color correction so you can get the colors looking the same that's not an issue at all um, obviously you can spend a lot more time than this um, it's just the color profile is different that's all it is I mean, like, like I said I had someone to sort of pointed out that uh, it wasn't going to be possible to do this sort of an edit um, and there was detail was actually lost in the um, in the uh, darker areas and they weren't lost um, it's just a color profile that GoPro is using with the current range of uh, GoPro Hero 3s. So there you have it. Hope you found that useful. In any case, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And um, any questions, um, post them down below. Thank you.